Hey guys, it's me, Kristen Ray. Today in this video, we are talking about acne. We're talking about pimples, zits, whatever you want to call it. Do you suffer with pimples? Do you suffer with zits? Well, maybe you would like to invest in a zit fighting mask for $135 or $32 a mask. <laughs> yeah, I said that right. Let's go ahead and jump on over to that video. You guys let me know. Did you like it? Comment afterwards. Let me know. Do you think you would buy it or not? Let's communicate. Come on. I need some comments. It's quarantine time. I'm going crazy. I need you guys to talk to me. Let's go ahead and just jump on over to that video. Okay, guys. It is late at night. I took off all my makeup. You guys can see I have a major, I have like two pimples right there. Breakout right here. I know you can see that. It looks horrible. I have a breakout right here. Look, you guys can see the pimple like... When I touch it, it becomes red right there. I have one that's healing right here. I am just like crazy broken out. I don't know if it's this whole stress of being home all the time or just everything that's going on with this whole coronavirus thing, but I need some help. This sucker cost $135 for five masks, or you can pay $32 a mask, which is 32 times five is like 160, I think. Something like that. So, this is supposed to help you with your blemishes. It says here, anti-blemish, biocellulose facial mask. It is by Dr. Alexandridis, MD. <laughs> so, this is called the 111 Skin. Harvey St. London. If I read to you what it actually says here, it says a targeted formula to combat the complexity of lower face eruptions. Eruptions? Lower face eruptions? Okay, I guess that means your pimples to combat them erupting, okay? I guess, yeah. Uh, and calm, irritated skin. So this one is going to erupt. Let's see if it actually calms it down. You guys can see how freaking red that is. It's ridiculous. And then over here it says, the potent C a potent sebum balance formula to reduce the shine without interrupting the moisture balance. Okay. For $135? This sucker better make my skin look like it's freaking, like, beautiful and like a baby's bottom, okay? Because $135 for five masks. And just so you guys know, I don't use a mask once, especially if I'm paying that much, which this did, which that's how much this costs, $135. Did I pay that much? No, I did not because I got this in my BoxyCharm. But if people were to buy this online, it's $135 or $32 a mask. That's absolutely crazy to me. But I will reuse the mask over and over. So I, I always, when I try a sheet mask, let's just open it up while I'm talking. Uh, when I try a sheet mask, I will put it back in the, in the liquid that was in the packaging. You guys can see there's five masks. Let's pull it out. Uh, just to get my money's worth. So if this works, if this like does like awesome stuff to my skin. I can see somebody paying $32 for it, especially if you have date night or you're meeting somebody for the first time or you have a really important event to go to. So look, it's actually, it's, oh, okay, look at this. There we go, the upper and the lower. So look, now you can see the pimple right there, pimple right here, pimple right here, healing pimple. Like, where else do I have pimples? It's just ridiculous. So let's go ahead and open this up. It feels like there's a lot of liquid in it. I know you guys can see. It feels like there is a lot of liquid. So let me get the scissors. So if you're going to put it back in the packaging, I would recommend just getting scissors and doing a clean cut like this. It doesn't really... It has a smell to it. Oh, look at this, guys. Like, check it out. So you guys can see. It looks like... If Feels very, very moist. Let me look in the packaging. Like there is, there is a ton. When I tell you a ton of liquid, let me pull you down. You guys can see, look how much liquid is in there. Look at that. So maybe that's why the mask is so expensive because obviously you can put it back in and use it several times. Okay, I'm just kind of wringing out any extra, making sure that liquid doesn't spill. So remove the protected. So this netting, I would think, is the protected film. 
So this is really cool that it has this type of netting so that you know 100% that the liquid absorbed throughout the mask very, very thoroughly, very, very evenly. Okay. Is that it? Is there another one? Weird, but cool. So there's two layers, guys. Look at this. This is like the sheet. Okay, this is the sheet part of it. This is just like a regular sheet mask. So you have the net and then the sheet. And then you pull this sucker out. This is so cool. This thing feels so cool. It feels like uh, like rubber. But you know what? You can feel which side is more moist. This is so extremely cool. Not like any other mask. Not like your typical sheet mask. Okay, so you know what? Let me put my hair back really quick. Okay, so let's go ahead and push this onto the skin. And push it all the way down everywhere. So you can see the size of it is quite large. So if you have a really large forehead, you should have no problem because this is going up into my hairline. It is like the coolest like feeling rubber it's like look at okay look at this so it goes all the way down too now let's go ahead and make sure that it adheres it has like this kind of like um like a gel texture okay i'm going to push it down especially where that pimple is right here Make sure it's laying down and it's a it's attaching to it's like look at this it's adhering to the skin pretty well except maybe right here in the middle okay let's try the next this is so cool it almost feels like um like a rubber slash gel that's what it feels like 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 almost feels like a gelatin that i'm squishing so this very, very unique, very different, not like anything I've tried. Now it's doing something. In some areas you feel like a little bit of a cooling. It's doing something. It just has this sensation. I've got to think about what the sensation feels like because it's very different than anything I've tried. Okay, I'm going to make sure that I get all of the excess liquid out of this. Look at this, guys. Like, I swear, it's like nothing I've ever felt. And I've tried Korean, some expensive Korean skincare masks. They have a similar like rubber feel, but this one's just very different at the same time. Feeling gelatin-like, firm, firmer at the, at the same time. Because some of those Korean skincare masks feel like you're going to, like you break them really, really easy. And this has a gelatin, but like a firm gelatin feel. Okay, let's go ahead and make sure that we got these things on correctly, especially right there under my nose. And you guys know right there is like where it hurts the most, especially if you pop a pimple right there. Okay, guys, so I'm going to set an alarm for 20 minutes and we'll come back in 20 minutes. You guys can see the pimple right there. Pimple right here is covered. Pimple right here that's healing is covered. Alexa, set an alarm for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, starting now. As far as the way that it feels, so I have this kind of, kind of like a cooling sensation, but at the same time, I know this is going to sound so weird. You know how you feel like as you're washing your face, like you, you, you have that sensation that you get, um, during the process of washing your face like like you feel like I'm washing it then you rinse it off and then you have this sensation like your skin feels very clean I don't that's how I would describe it I feel like I've already like it sitting on my face it feels like my face is clean because it has that oh, feel that's the only way I could describe it guys besides the cold and it's not freezing cold it just feels like I'm cleaning my face. I know that sounds so strange to say, but it's the only description I could figure out how to explain what I'm feeling. 
So I'll see you guys in 20 minutes. And I want to show you this as it, as it's been on the face, it's only been on my face for like two minutes as it's on the face and it starts to absorb into the skin. Check it out. So look how much more sticky the mask becomes. Like it's like super attached to my nose right here. So this is still a little bit more wet, but look at that. So like, it's really interesting, but any folds in it as it becomes a little bit more dry adhere like super, super duper. Zumi ran her finger right here and she was like, oh, it feels really slimy. That's the way that she would describe it. But look at that. It's like glue on my face. You know what, guys? Let me go ahead and just read some of these ingredients. The reason I, t I tell you I have that cooling, that cooling feeling, and it feels like my skin is clean because have you guys, if you guys have never tried this, try it out if you have it at home. Get some tea tree oil and rub it on your skin and see what that does to your skin. That's exactly what is in here. So this actually contains tea tree oil, tea tree leaf oil. Tea tree oil is an antibacterial. It helps combat uh, infections. It helps combat bacteria. It helps combat acne. Tea tree oil is an amazing, amazing ingredient. Alexa, what does tea tree oil treat? According to the NIH, tea tree oil comes from the leaves of the tea tree and has been used as a traditional medicine for cuts and wounds by the Aboriginal people of Australia. Today, Tea tree oil is often used externally for various conditions such as acne, athlete's foot, lice, nail fungus, cuts, and insect bites. A limited amount of research indicates that tea tree oil might be helpful for acne, nail fungus, and athlete's foot. Back in the day, I used to use it to treat athlete's foot on my kids. Okay, guys, you can hear that's my 20-minute timer. Alexa, stop. So we're going to go ahead and remove this. Let's see if we can just remove it uh, an easier way instead of me trying to, let's see here. Actually, you know what, before I remove it, let's feel it. So it feels like it started to dry up. It feel, Oh yeah, guys, like it feels like it's attached to my nose. Look, like it's big time attached to my nose. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. It did dry. So let me remove it like this. Let me see if I put this on top and I can put it right back on the mesh and then right back in the packaging that it might be a lot easier. So like this, push it down. Let's see if it will adhere. Push it down. Oh, look at that. It adhered to it. And then let's peel it off. Oh, don't take off the bottom. That is pretty freaking darn cool. Pretty freaking darn cool. And yeah, you can see that it started to dry, but it's still flexible. So I'm going to stick it right back on here. Look at it. Look, it almost looks like, like thin plastic right here where the nose was. So we're gonna put it right back on, put it right on top of it, and it all attaches back together, which is freaking awesome. So we're gonna fold it, having the mesh on the outside, and we're gonna go right back into the packaging so that I can reuse this over and over. So let's see here. We're gonna go back into the packaging just like this. We're gonna push it into the liquid. So make sure that you see we put it right there and we're gonna we're gonna seal this off i'm gonna get one of like a one of those clippies i'm gonna fold it and then put a clippy on it but make sure that all that liquid gets right back up on that mask so that you can reuse it now let's repeat the step with the bottom real quick push it down so the bottom still feels like it has a liquid. This is the part that we are most excited to look at. It feels like it's a lot more moist. But look, it still adheres to it. Okay. Put it in the mask. Actually, roll it around in the liquid like that as much will absorb. 
and then turn it around. You see it dripping right there? That's how much liquid. And then turn it around and make sure the other side gets it you know, on there too. So just flip it. When you put it back in, make sure that you roll it around and then flip it. So when it's soaking wet on top, it will just run right down onto the rest of the mask. So we'll get plenty of use. So my skin feels really interesting. I will tell you that right now. Hold on one second. Let me stand these up so the liquid does not fall out. Okay, now we're supposed to massage anything. Oh, look, and it's not really much to massage. And check it out. So, like, my finger, it's not sliding. You guys can see this clearly. And I'm barely touching my face. Look at this. It's not sliding. So, I think that is the uh, after effects of the aloe vera gel in it. Leaf gel. You guys can see, like, there's, like, it feels like I have a gel that's dried down to my face. At the same time, it doesn't feel like a gel's dried down and it's dry. It feels like a gel is on my face and it's hydrated and moisturized. I don't know. What do you guys think? Did it go down? So my skin feels like I have a firming cream on it. That's what my skin feels like, right? I take it off. It's nice and cold. Just doing this alone. The heat that's radiating, radiating off my hands is intense on the face. So it feels like my skin is tight. But at the same time, look at this. So it looks like what you couldn't see as much unless I touched it. Like my pimple right here, it looks like you kind of notice it more. And right here, the redness is still there. So I don't know if it actually pulled it up to the surface more. Because as I'm looking at it, as I'm looking at it, I just notice it more. I almost feel like it's accentuated a little bit more than before. So I'm going to try this again tomorrow. And we're going to see, did it take it down even more? This is the very first night. And I know you guys can notice it now. I know you notice it. Did you notice it before? I do feel like my skin feels fantastic though. We're going to be using that same mask tomorrow. And we're going to see within a 24 hour period, did it or did it not reduce these pimples tremendously for that price? So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, just to reassure that this stays nice and moist, I just got some gift wrapping tape. I actually folded it in half again to make it smaller to get on the bottom. And I'm going to seal this off like this to make sure that liquid doesn't evaporate. And that when we open it tomorrow, it will be plenty in there. So I'm going to seal it like this. And now what you can do is you can really squish that mask better into the liquid without it pouring out. Okay, guys. So I just woke up right now. And look at this. So it came to a head. I'm going to have to pop that thing because, yeah, it's ready to come out. I mean, it's disgusting. But... I don't know if it would have done that, if it would have come to a head like that, if I wouldn't had fiddled with it before shooting the video. This one, you guys can see, it's still here, but it feels like it's hard. And this one, oh, it's going to gush out <laughs> in a little bit in my bathroom mirror. But I'm going to pop it and then I'm going to put the mask on, see if it will calm it down. But yeah. Hmm. So I know this is totally gross to get this close. But so this, I popped one in front and you can see the second one here in the back. So this is the one I popped in front of this. And this is the one in the back. And then I do this, you can see there's another one right there. So it's like a cluster of three. And this one, you guys can see. Now you can see it more. That's hard. Okay, so I just got out of the shower. You can see from a distance how big and red this sucker is. And I know you can probably still see this dot right here. When I point it out, you guys can see right there. So let's go ahead and open the mask up. Let's go ahead and make sure that we squish all the liquid into it and see, is this still very moist or not? So I'm just going to cut off the tape and then re-tape it if I can use it for a third time, which I will use it as many times as it's possible. Let's look. Yeah, so there is still liquid remaining in it. 
even after absorbing the majority of it. So I will be able to get at least three uses minimum out of this mask. You guys can see, look, you see the water or the water, the liquid. See? So it is still very, very hydrated. It got rehydrated. Okay. Oops, I'm dripping everywhere. Let me guess. Let me just squeeze out the the it's a little bit too much in it right now. So let me just squeeze out a little bit out of it. So don't spill it everywhere. But this is the bottom half. Let's go ahead and put it on. I'm really, really hoping that it takes this redness and this inflammation down because this looks horrible. Now I'm going to pull off this part, the netting. And I can feel that it's already starting to adhere, especially in this bottom portion, like super duper good. I mean, look, like if you couldn't, if you didn't know that I had something on, and you just glanced at this portion of my skin, you would think that, oh, that's just bare skin because that's how much it's adhered to the skin. Okay, so we're going to do 20 minutes. Alexa! Set an alarm for 20 minutes. And I'll, and I'll be back in 20 minutes. Okay, guys. So that is her alarm. Alexa, stop. Let's go ahead and pull it off and see what we think. So remember, we're going to put it right back onto the mask. Onto the other... The You know what I mean. This one still feels, so the nose area gets dry much quicker because it dried up again like it did yesterday. So I'm going to put it right back on here. I'm pushing this really hard onto it so it will grab it and stick. And let's peel it off. There we go just reposition it a little bit. The bottom part actually dried a whole lot better today than the top portion. Um, how does it feel? I feel the same way. I feel like my, my cheeks are cold. I feel like my face is cold. I feel like I have a firming cream uh, that's actually working on my skin. But as far as this thing, let me get a mirror. As far as this thing, so it, looking close up at it, it doesn't look as inflamed it doesn't look as red as it was not saying that it's not red because obviously it's very very red but it doesn't look as red as it did so i would say that it actually maybe took it down a little bit but the skin feels great i would probably purchase this just for the way that it makes my skin feel but that's not why we would be purchasing it we would be purchasing it because it's supposed to get rid of my pimples this one oh i didn't even look at that one this one doesn't have any red to it, but it really didn't have much red before. I almost feel like it brought it up to the surface. So I'm also going to put it on tonight. So tonight will be 24 hours. We'll see what it does. I'm not wearing anything but a moisturizer today because I don't want to irritate my skin. I don't, I want to see if this mask will strictly like do what it says it will do. And that's the take down what the eruptions or whatever it says, um, it's supposed to combat the complexity of the lower face eruptions and calm irritated skin. So will it calm this? I don't know. Uh, we'll see tonight and do it again. So that will be three times. I did it last night in the morning and at night. That will be 24 hours wearing it three times. D is it worth your money? I don't know yet. I'll see you guys tonight. Okay, guys, so it's um, nighttime. I'm going to remove my makeup with this Neutrogena makeup removing wipe. And we're going to see how irritated my skin is. So I really don't like how it's not, how it doesn't lay down right there. Because my bridge of the nose is so much, I guess, higher than whatever face shape they designed this for. So I'm going to cut it right here. And I'm going to lay, oh yeah, look at that. So when I cut it, it actually will lay down flat. We're just going to cut the nose. Obviously this is, well, I guess I could use the mask again. But since I bought five, this is going to be the last time I use this mask. Well, 
Well, actually, technically not because there was still liquid left in it. So I will use it again. Probably might be a little bit more difficult to put on, but that's so much nicer that it lays down flat when you cut it right there. Okay, guys, so I left it on a lot longer this time because I had to go fix a problem in Zimmy's room. So you could, you guys can see, like, when you leave it on longer, it literally, like, dries to your skin. Look at that. So let's go ahead and peel it off and see. Like, it becomes so, I don't know, tight to your skin. Mmm. Well, when you take it off, I will have to say, I really honestly, truly, truly love the way your skin feels afterwards. As far as this sucker, let's look. The verdict is in. I'm going to say no to this product. I've tried it for 24 hours. Did I see a reduction in the redness? No, I did not. Actually, I see that I have a pimple right here now. This is still red. I have a new pimple right here, if you guys can see. And uh, that one is still there. As far as the way it feels, great. But I'm going to turn the camera around and zoom in really close so you guys can We're see what I'm talking about. Super up close and gross so you guys can see the redness here. You guys can see a pimple forming right here. You guys can see another pimple forming right here. You guys can see that. So you, so you guys can see this one right here. This pimple right here. Let me just kind of scratch at it so you guys can see. That's the pimple right there. This is another pimple forming right above it. So honestly, like I love the way that my skin feels. But for me to have two more pimples. And I don't normally ever break out. So this is very rare for me to go through this. But that one... This one, this one, and that one. Mm -mm. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to give it a thumbs down. Now, does it work uh, like this for everybody? No, because the ingredients in it are amazing and it should work. It should calm down the irritation, the eruptions, or whatever it says. Um, but it did not on my skin. Unfortunately, I have two more pimples within 24 hours when, it, you know, this was supposed to stop it. This is an anti-blemish. Come on. So I know that um, maybe it worked for some of you guys out there, but you guys have seen me document this for 24 hours using the mask three times on clean skin. This is the only time that I haven't gone to the sink and washed my face. And come on, like you, you guys saw the evidence. I would say just to skip on this. If you want to try it, just buy one mask and try it multiple times like what I did. But I would not spend the $135 to buy five masks. Uh, that is my opinion. You guys sound off below. Tell me, do you agree with me? Do you not? My skin feels great, though. As far as what the acne is concerned, and that's why we were buying it. I'm just going to have to give it a thumbs down. But hopefully, you guys give this video a thumbs up. Look down there in the description box. Check out all the information. Uh, look at my other videos. See that little subscribe button. Tiny little bell next to it for notifications of new videos. Maybe you can click, 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 clack, click that. But let's go ahead and just jump on over to the quote of the day. I love you all. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.